It is about 200 miles from Houston to San Antonio on I-10. A pilot at an altitude of 5 miles over Houston spots San Antonio on the horizon. From this information, calculate the radius of the Earth. Okay, so remember when you're flying, you don't necessarily fly in a straight line. So even though we're talking about right triangles, we are going to draw a right triangle. But now remember, when you're flying, it's more of an arc. So this arc is actually going to be your 200 miles. Now, that may not be intuitive to you, and that's why I'm explaining to you. Remember, you don't necessarily fly in a straight line, because when you're in an airplane, remember they always give you like a round deal if you look at Google Maps or something of that nature. It also tells us that the pilot has an altitude of five miles. So if it's from Houston to San Antonio, then that's your altitude is your height, so that's going to be five. And it wants us to find the radius of the Earth. So I'm just going to call that R because that corresponds to radius. Well, if I have an arc length, and I don't know the radius, but that's okay because I know that arc length is alpha times the radius. So I could solve that for alpha, correct? Well, I know the arc length is 200, so I've got 200 equals alpha times R. So I'm going to have 200 over R equals alpha. So now that we have alpha, we need to actually find what is the radius, right? That's the whole purpose of this problem. So based on what we've learned in class and the other examples that we've worked, so if this is the only video that you've watched, this might be a little flaky for what we're actually doing. Um, we're going to find that the cosine of alpha is going to equal to r over r plus 5. Now when we do that, we know everything except r, because we just found alpha up here at the top. So I'm going to get the cosine of 200 over r equals r over r plus 5. So we know we're, we're doing well here because, look, everything has r's in it. Now I can actually get everything on one side, correct? So if I subtract the r over r plus 5, I'm going to get the cosine of 200 over r minus r over r plus 5, and that equals 0. Now, when you're going to do this, you're going to have to do it on a graphing calculator. So those of you that are in my class, you actually have the app for that, or you have your Chrome extension, or you have the website. So you'll need to go to that website and actually enter in this equation for y. So we're going to actually set this equal to y when we do it on the calculator. And then you actually are going to have to find what value is it that you're going to have to find. Well, you're going to have to find the x-intercept. Now, if you're on a standard graphing calculator, you can do this as well. But you have to have a calculator for this problem. And when I finally found the x-intercept, it was at about 4004 miles.